What's up, everybody? Kev, AB, we're in here breaking down another Florida State commitment. Let's wish go. we could have gone. <laughs> yeah, wish we could have gone live on this one, like we were able to do with Rod Kearney, but uh, not able to. Um, so hey, here you, you, you get a little recorded action. And you're you're still uh, you're still wearing. You put your orange shirt back on just to celebrate Rod Kearney from from the other day. No, we just thought he was going to commit that night. He was going to be live, and we were going to be able to do them both at the same time. But he didn't cooperate. So whatever. Here we are. Um, yeah. So three star prospect DeMarco Ward, a linebacker. Yes. My goodness, a linebacker prospect. Found one. Uh, somehow, some way. I, I almost thought the linebacker position didn't exist anymore. But enough of my sarcasm. <laughs> uh, he's a six two, two hundred five pound prospect out of Duluth, Georgia, because the Duluth High School uh, lead recruiter on this one's been Randy Shannon. This is a guy they've been on for a while. They. Kind of targeted him early. He didn't, I'm not even sure he had a profile. He didn't have any stars. We know how important the stars are to everybody. Um, yeah, they beat out Arkansas State and Coastal Carolina and Duke. Hey, Coastal him, Carolina so. was pretty good last year. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> Probably right, let's get us. into the film. Yeah. So but let's, let's not let the offer sheet talk for us. Let's let the film talk for us. All right. Fair enough. This, the staff, despite, being unable to pull the, the five stars that we would like has has done a admittedly good job of finding diamonds in the rough. Absolutely. So immediately, I like his reaction. He, he reads. Yeah, that's you nice. Know, he, I gotta see clear, that again. He clearly reads a screen, reacts to it quickly, gets the ball carrier down. These screen plays can be tough. Yeah. Uh, look, his hips have totally turned this direction. Yep. And then he. That is a he's quick able, change of direction. Yeah, he's able to stop on a dime, change direction, get back to the ball, finish the ball carrier. Just reading that, I mean, he could have easily kept running, not not knowing where the ball was going there. There he could blow that gap up. I, mean, I think immediately you can kind of get a sense of what it is they like. Um, there is a little bit of explosiveness when he puts his foot in the dirt. Yeah, and he's They're long. Also, yeah. There's also, like I said, I mean, there's also an idea of where the ball's going, which – think that that's valuable today yeah i mean it would have been nice to see him in a little bit this is just this is just some country cover too it looks like maybe yeah, he's, just four. Yeah, he's just mirroring the quarterback's eyes here yeah he's just dropping he's he's the mike linebacker here just dropping here would have been nice to see him in full coverage i think that's an important part of it being a modern linebacker but you know the quarterback I, throws it right to him catches I'd love it. to see it i'd love to see him getting more depth there i think he's playing a little shallow but. i think so too all right, some pump block. Special teams value. We know how much they value special teams, even though they've struggled a little bit last year. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all right. So, so he it's like a three four defensive end linebacker here. It's interesting. He's not quite on the ball, but he blitzes. And so they're sending him on they're obviously sending him on a rush here. That's why he's staggered back a little bit. All right, here he is at Mike. He is quick. He's reading reading the crosser there does yeah he, pick that off? he does but i don't know where the quarterback was throwing that ball but good job yeah, he, he, he does seem to get it have a good sense of where the ball is going which is important yeah i, I think you like his length you like that he kind of looks like a safety playing linebacker that's kind of what you're looking for in a modern linebacker i'd like to see a little bit more i mean this is this speaks to what we said earlier. He's got good anticipation and he knows where the ball is going, but I'd like to see how fluid his hips are in, right. in coverage. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see him out on the back something. Uh, the two things we're not going to know about him. A, can he cover down the field? B, can he take on a, can he take on a lineman inside? It's a good chance. He's not going to be able to at 205 pounds. They're going to need to bulk him up a little bit. Um, and then what's that going to do to his, to his running ability? Um, Right, yeah, that's that is the big question. Can you can you put size on them? Because you need to be two twenty ish to be to to be a college middle linebacker, D one middle linebacker. So he, he does he does seem to have some good instincts. So I'll I'll say that much for him. Which I think that length and instincts is is will will bring you a far way in coverage. Um, yeah, we haven't right, seen so a man anywhere just kind of in that robber zone. So, yeah, he and he just seems to play real shallow. All right, here's opening up a little bit. Yeah, he's got decent straight line speed, I think. Yeah, he's got looks like he has a long he has a long strider. 
which is going to make him look slower than he actually is. Yeah, but that that football instinct is really telling, and I think that's where you have to look for three stars to be um, impact players. I think that's where the you know NC State, Wake Forest of the world find find kids is they find so these another, kids that are three stars that that have a good instinct and, and can play great, football. Another great screen read there, though. Neat. All right, here's playing big boy football down on the goal line. You, let's let's go back to the screen read. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just nice. I mean, he could have kept rushing up the field. You'd see a lot of prospects. Just keep running after the quarterback. He's got a free rush. He recognizes the guards pulling out there. Yep. He does a good job of getting in his back hip too, which is which is nice. Which is how you're taught. Yeah. So I, I think there's some justifiable question marks that that kind of keep this kid at a three star. But overall, he's a linebacker that has a good feel for the game. And I think when you're playing one of those interior linebacker spots. That's incredibly important, right? You're the you're kind of the the quarterback of the defense. Um, so we'll we'll see if he's a the kind of kid that you can put some weight on, keep some of that speed, and and develop. Yeah, I'd like to see I'd like to see some full game out of him. What's it look like when he, uh, you know, and the ball's coming right at him? Does he get in? Does he get engulfed? Yeah, he or is he or is he able to be this slippery and kind of find his way? A lot of these run plays when he's making when he's making impacts in the backfield seem to be when he's able to shoot a gap because the ball's going off tackle or yeah you know, the lines get moving sideline to sideline. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll agree on that. You know, two hundred five isn't the ideal weight for a linebacker, but um, yeah, I think but that's a good. Most point. linebackers are going to struggle when a when an offensive lineman's coming right at him though. Yeah, I, I think that's a great point. How how is he going to deal with? You know, Division One guards that are are going to be able to find him out in space. You know, mm -hmm. because you're right. He, when when he is making tackles, it's because he's free. Good yeah. open field tackler. Um, <laughs> oh, weird. Cute. He's getting a little depth there, able to change directions. Yeah, kind of playing out in that flat. Mm -hmm. Is this? Oh no, I thought he was going to be returning the kick. <laughs> Hustle. Yeah, so uh leave us with some some parting thoughts here. Um I think he's I don't think he's a lot different than like an Omar Graham who they took last year. Yeah. I think he's a prospect that his ceiling may be higher than what his stars suggest they are because it seems like he understands the game and that's not going to shine through in a physical sense that you can be able to necessarily judge that and critique right. that and analyze that to give it a star. I do think he shows some headiness and some awareness in football that not every prospect does, and I think that that's valuable. We'll see how much weight he could put on. I'd like to know what kind of uh, girth he has with his shoulders, how, bit, how much frame does he have that he can put more weight on. Um, they've obviously had him in, been able to tell that. Uh, does look long. you got to like that length at linebacker. Does seem to show some quickness and a little bit of, and a little bit of straight line speed. You, you don't get a sense from this of how well he changes direction. Um, all in all, it's an okay take. I think if it's your number three linebacker, I'd like to see them maybe get one or two kids a little bit higher. Uh, I don't want to say necessarily ranked higher, but that have that seem to have a little more pedigree, a little more of, that, of the physical tool set that you're looking for um, with the size and the speed combo. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. I think uh, you're kind of missing seeing him take on people in traffic. You're kind of seeing... How does his hips move when he's uh, isolated on a wide receiver or something? Because college teams will figure out how to do that um, if that's a weakness for you. We didn't really see him turning his hips, hips and getting any depth in the field. Uh, but there is there is good here. This is this is the kind of kid that if he's your second or third uh, linebacker in a class, then you can feel pretty confident about that that linebacker mm -hmm. class. Um, I think there's some hesitation if he's going to be your number one. Um, that that's a that's a big old red flag and um yep. but overall exciting take it's been a exciting week and um yeah hopefully the staff continues to move forward on, on the recruiting trail and uh we see more things like this and in, in the kearney take amen all right well we'll see you guys next time thanks for joining us uh make sure to like and subscribe uh both the Knowles 247 channel and uh my channel x's and Knowles, and uh you can get more of our takes over on the Knowles 247 site. So go Knowles.